marami akong kakilala that they look good together because they are both physically attractive. Pero marami din akong kilala na parang alam mo yung imbalance. <laughs> Alam mo yung pag nakita mo silang dalawa, masasabi mo talaga na may isa sa kanila maswerte. <laughs> Kailangan ba guapo at maganda lang ang pwedeng magkarelasyon? Paano naman tayo hindi ka guapuhan, guys? <laughs> Gusto ko sana malaman, ano po bang bibiliin ko? Yung pogi na sabaw or yung dad bod na wow ang utak? Oy, <laughs> guys. Kuya Darbs, sense of humor po ba or looks? Sense of humor or looks, saan ka nga ba? Okay, first of all, wag naman natin masyadong stereotype na pag pogi, bobo agad. Hindi <coughs> naman ganun, grabe ka naman. Hindi <laughs> naman lahat ng pogi na nakilala mo, bobo lahat, di ba? <coughs> Mga bobo! Mga bobo! That's something that you have to check out. And I would understand women who would choose looks first. Kasi totoo lang ha, kung tatanungin mo ako, si Real Talk Darbs, Kuya Darbs, looks matter ba? Of course! I will not be a hypocrite and tell you na sa panloob ako tumitingin. That's the reason why you get interested with someone because you're physically attracted to them. That's the reason why you love blooms because attraction happens. Of course! Kahit pa paano, napaka-importante din naman kasi ng physical attraction. Ba? Hindi ko naman sinasabing dapat maghanap ka ng maganda. Pero ang sinasabi ko, dapat doon ka sa taong physically attracted ka. Because this is one of the reasons as to why you would get to know the individual. Right? Pag, mag, pag sumitsit, tapos pogi, naglalambing, tapos pag sumitsit, tapos mukhang tambay, binabastos ka. Hindi <laughs> Ganun ka eh. Alam ko, ganun ka eh. Ano naman talaga? I mean, have the willingness to explore an individual's personality if you're physically attracted to them first. Pero what I'm trying to say is what sparks, what initiates the attraction to an individual is you have to be physically attracted to that individual. So kung sakaling sumagot ka that mas pipiliin mo yung looks, I, I would totally understand. Ganun naman talaga. Being with someone who knows how to make you laugh and at the same time you're physically attracted with, it's a blessing. Is it very difficult to come by? Uh, yes, it is. But good things takes time to happen. Pero my message to you is never settle for less. Why would you choose one instead of one? Why can't it have both? Not just in this, but in lots of aspect in life. Such as being able to pursue your career and have a great love life. Being able to pursue the things that you love and at the same time have time for the people that matters to you. Looks do matter, yes. Pero, it doesn't mean that it can sustain the relationship. Kasi hindi pwedeng pogi ka lang. Tapos sa ibang aspeto ng buhay, sabaw ka. Hindi pwedeng ganun. Tulad nga ng sinabi ko, hindi lang dapat nagtatapos sa mukha ng tao at hindi yun magdidikta kung ang relationship nyo would move forward. Marami akong kakilala that they look good together because they are both physically attractive. Pero, marami din akong kilala na parang alam mo yung imbalance. <laughs> Alam mo yung pag nakita mo silang dalawa, masasabi mo talaga na may isa sa kanila maswerte. <laughs> Kailangan ba guapo at maganda lang ang pwedeng magkarelasyon? Paano naman tayo hindi ka guapuhan, guys? Kung isa ka man sa mga tao, madalas sinasabihan na, uy, grabe, ang swerte mo sa si jowa mo. <laughs> Punta ka na, baka ikaw yung imbalan sa inyong dalawa. Pero, magpasalamat ka. Kasi kahit pa paano, pinili ka ng jowa mo. Despite of any other options that your girlfriend or boyfriend has, ikaw pa rin yung pinili niya kahit hindi ka ganun ka. Hindi ka kasing level ng kagandahan niya or kagapuhan niya. Alam niyo bakit? Because, the end of the day, looks is not everything. What sustains the relationship is both of you understanding each other, both of you have the same wavelength, both of you has the same goal, and both of you basically wants to have the same endgame, which is being together. Kung ia-ask mo ako, why would you choose each? Like, why can't you go for both? This is something that most people have lesser understanding when it comes to matters of really being in a specific place where you want. Kasi minsan, tayo mismo ang naglilimit sa mga bagay na pwede natin gawin. Like, what is the very thing that you want? Most of the time, it's better to aim for the stars and hit the moon rather than aim for the moon then hit your roof. Ibig sabihin nun, the bigger, the higher your dreams are, the better your goals and results will be. The problem is actually not the goals. The problem is that we're not making goals big enough. So aim higher, aim better. So instead of choosing one, why can't you have both? and be with someone who has both. 
And how can you be with someone who has both? By focusing on you, self-directed love, being able to attract these kind of people in your life so that when time comes, you don't have to settle. It's masarap na ikaw yung pipili kaysa ikaw ang pagpipilian. I've been lying here for too long I don't know what else to do I wanna get away from every little thing Just to try to make it through I've been thinking about my options Every detail in my head But it doesn't really matter Nothing matters so I cry instead Best, but nothing turns out right. 